This is My name is Travis Hancock, and I am the guest curator of the High Skate film series at the Honolulu Museum of Art, Doris Duke Theatre, first annual, and we're just enjoying the reception. Uh, we're showing five total, six total now. We've had some late submissions, and uh, yeah, six films showcasing skateboarding in Hawaii. All right, we're with Sean Riley, aka Bedpan, director of Wanna Wally My Pole Jam, uh, here to tell us about his film. Um, how would you describe your film? <laughs> um, I'd say it's a documentary on Hawaii skateboarding and um, a little bit of alcoholism mixed in there. <laughs> it just shows uh, like the fun we have with skating, you know, not taking it too serious out here in Hawaii. What uh, what would you say sets your film apart from the other films in the series? Ooh, none of the footage is HD. It's all filmed with uh, to, yeah, keep it old school. Like uh, it's all it's not HD, and then all the music, the soundtrack, I it's oldies, which um, I think is different. I, I haven't seen any other videos, but I'm expecting all the footage to be HD and probably some newer poppy music. But this one's a little hardcore and gritty. You face any any heavy, hard hitting copyright issues with your music selection? Uh, no, I don't even care. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> sue me. No. What what message are you trying to impart to the children with this film? Have fun. Don't skate. Take skateboarding too serious. And enjoy life. But I don't. I don't think they should follow the whole drinking aspect of it. I mean, it's the way I chose to live my life and skate. And I'm not saying it's it's the way to go. But I don't re have any regrets. So. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it stopping by with us here. Hey, right. right, we're with Kale Kai Kala, director of the uh, Maui Skate Crew Moke Life's film Two Alternatives, aka Fast Kind, here to talk about his film. How'd you describe your film? Um, I don't know. I guess skating with the boys. It's the finished product, I guess. Well, how would you say or describe like the difference between maybe Oahu skating and the Maui skate? Scene. Um, Maui's definitely more laid back for sure. Like, it's kind of hard for us to find spots and stuff, so we make like the best of what we got. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Director's cut. Do you guys have any close calls with the law on Maui, or is it more lax over there with skating? Um, definitely more relaxed. We got some hit officers, but won't mention any names, but. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, they're pretty chill. Like, they kind of just tell us to leave, let us do our own thing. Does it feel strange or like you're making your films more mainstream by having them here in a festival rather than the typical like laid back style you have it over there? Um, kind of, it's kind of cool like having everyone like getting together to like celebrate skateboarding and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I, I dig it. Like, yeah. All right. Thanks, Kale. <laughs> We're with Anton Glam, the star of a, a Day in the Life skate film, which is called Anton Glam's First Day of Summer. Anton Glam's First Day of Summer, in which he showcases his uh, first day of summer. Really, it's like a, it's about the first day of summer for me, and so it kind of centers around the the first day of summer where I had free of responsibilities and get to do the stuff that I would enjoy doing. It's a very special day. How, uh, how does your film relate to skating and how is it different from like a typical skateboarding film that's just about showcasing tricks? Well, um, it's about like the passion of skateboarding and the excitement that it brings to your life but then also how it spills over into like your approach to daily activities so it's kind of focusing on music and skating and just prolonging the youthful experience in life uh, I don't know it's fun feel good how old are you? I'm 27, but yeah, I'm still having fun. <laughs> Thanks, Anton. Especially on the first day of summer. <laughs> Most of the films are short, sort of uh, skate culture snapshots and 
there's like one main feature film that's going to be rounding out the evening that's like an hour and a half long so <laughs> Uh, my name is Abby Elgar. I'm the assistant film curator here, and thank you so much to all of you for coming out to support the first skate film festival that we've ever had here at our museum, and possibly at any museum ever in the history of museums. So it's really, it's really cool. And thank you for bringing your skateboards and for not skating on stuff. <laughs> that was good. I, it was tempting, I'm sure. First off, of course, thank you to all of the film directors featured in the festival for making some great films and for allowing us to show them here and you know showcase them and on you all it's it's great and last but not least a massive thank you to the mastermind behind the series travis hancock for coordinating the films and making it happen um, thank you abby um i want to thank the academy of arts which it was formerly known as now it's the museum of art and I thought that this would be a good excuse for the community to get together and watch these films and uh, as everyone here can attest to, it's really awesome when the Hawaii skate community gets together. Um, it's always like a really special event in a really unique community and as a lot of these films show um, and acknowledge, sort of an underscoring current to a lot of these get-togethers has been uh, Kenny Brimer, who's always with us in this room and in our events when we get together, and his presence is in a lot of the films, so keep him in mind throughout the <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know him, uh, maybe introduce to him as they watch films here or in the future. And uh, just want to thank everyone else for coming out, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the series. Thanks. <laughs> So we just had the first films play and everyone's come out and everyone's excited, whining and dining, having a good time and uh, excited about the rest of the films and wrapping up the series this weekend. This is the last time this will be with me through all night, always through this, the fire in the eyes of just the one last time.